In the episode, The Hot Shot, Mrs. Puff tries a new plan of action when it comes to teaching SpongeBob how to drive. She has Tony Fast Jr. show up in Bikini Bottom to help teach SpongeBob. He's a famous race car driver. Well, rather than actually teach SpongeBob, SpongeBob and Tony end up getting themselves into a chaotic street race. And in the end, they get in trouble with the police. But let's rewind back to this scene for a mistake. I mean, it's why you clicked on the video after all. During this scene, where we can see the incidental character Sandals in the background, there is a subtle mistake with his eye, as his pupil turns red as the camera pans over to Mrs. Puff. Another mistake can also be found as Spongebob asks what the dotted lines mean. As Spongebob says this, his eyelashes turn transparent instead of black for a few frames. Yeah, here's a clip. Well, on behalf of yours truly, I would like to thank each of you for such a wonderful and warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What did I do? Oh. Oh. Mrs. Puff, thank you most of all. SpongeBob, that warm welcome wasn't for you. It wasn't? No, just drive! Just driving! What are these dotted lines, man? Relax, man, you gotta relax. Relax, relax! Mrs. Puff hasn't taught us that yet! No, I mean just relax, man. Okay, just relaxing, man. As we all know, Krusty Krab employees are given a uniform to wear while working, that being this white hat with an anchor on it. Well, in the Season 3 episode, Fear of a Krabby Patty, there are actually a few mistakes with these hats. During the scene where SpongeBob is dropping trays out of the chef's window, the anchor on Squidward's white Krusty Krab employee hat is missing, should be there. It does return after this scene, to be fair but it was definitely missing for a couple of frames. Here's a clip. How many days he's been on us track? 43. <laughs> what the flim flam? What are you doing in here, boy? You're wasting all my fun. Our next mistake can be found in the episode Jellyfish Hunter. This episode is pretty dark with Spongebob creating a jellyfish condiment at the Krusty Krab that goes on to be a major success with customers. However, this comes at a cost, as Mr. Krabs catches on and decides to start abusing the jellyfish to get more jelly just so he can make more money. Yeah. Now in the end, Mr. Krabs lets all of the jellyfish free once he's forced to because he gets zapped by old No Name, but if we head over to this scene, we can find our next or last mistake. As a matter of fact, we can actually find three, as not only are SpongeBob's holes missing, but he's also missing his left and right legs. Yeah, well I guess a part of his right leg is there, but you get the point. <laughs> In the episode, The Pink Purloiner, Spongebob and Patrick go out for some jellyfishing. However, things get complicated when Spongebob catches way more fish than Patrick, and Patrick gets a little jealous. Spongebob is a humble man though, so he explains to Patrick that the reason he's gotten so much success is due to his signature jellyfish net, all reliable and Patrick agrees, while also mentioning he'd do anything to get his home. Eventually, all reliable goes missing, resulting in SpongeBob accusing Patrick of stealing it, and this pretty much sets up the episode. Now in the end, it turns out that SpongeBob was wrong and accidentally left his net on the bus, but if we watch during this scene, we can spot a mistake, as when we first see the passengers on the bus pop their heads out, one of them is blue, okay? They're blue. However, once the bus leaves, they magically change into a yellow fish, thus making for a brutal mistake. They 
do this all the time. I'm serious. I. Oh, never mind. I'm staying in Bikini Bottom. Hooray! <laughs> Wanna go jellyfishing? I just got a new net. So did I. In the episode Chocolate with Nuts, we've talked about this one before, Spongebob and Patrick get something interesting in the mail. It isn't for them, it's actually for Squidward, and it's Squidward's Fancy Living Digest magazine. This magazine is all about living a lavish, fancy lifestyle. And this results in Spongebob and Patrick wanting to live that lifestyle as well. So they start their own little business and go to the doors of Bikini Bottom residents to try and sell their chocolate bars. It doesn't go well at first, but once they start capping and lying that their chocolate does magical things, things start to go much better for them, and they sell a bunch of chocolate bars. Now by the end of the episode, Spongebob and Patrick's lying backfires. But let's head over to this scene. There's a mistake that I'm sure you missed. As all of you know, Spongebob uses bubble transitions to change scenes. However, during this one transition, there is a huge mistake, as for a brief second, the date September 14th, 2001 can be seen at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, definitely isn't supposed to be there. Here's a clip. If we keep exaggerating the truth, we'll be fancy living in no time. Hooray for lying! It'll make your hair grow. Great, my wife's trying to grow a beard. They'll make you sound smart. I'll take 20! In the episode SpongeBob vs. the Patty Gadget, Squidward takes his methods of getting rid of SpongeBob to a whole nother level with him bringing in a new invention known as the Patty Gadget, a Krabby Patty making machine. And as you can imagine, this is problematic for Spongebob, as it threatens Spongebob's job. And from here, the episode focuses on Spongebob, doing everything he can to keep his job, and show that he's better than the machine. Now the mistake in question can be found during this scene, as the handle or lever on the Patty Gadget breaks, However, in this shot, the lever's back, despite it breaking moments before, thus making for a really weird mistake. Here's a clip. Squidward was worried SpongeBob couldn't be beat. I got one last chance. I'll turn up the heat. He struggled in strain till his face turned dark blue. Then the lever moved forward and broke right into The gadget buckled and sparked. It cracked like a gun. Hundred oh, it was something to see. I that machine, it was fast. But SpongeBob was faster. He'd prove to that thing that he was its master. The gadget blew into bits and died with a boom. The blast was so loud, it woke King Neptune. In the episode Frozen Face Off, SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy, and well, the rest of the gang, every SpongeBob character, all participate in a sled worm race for $1 million. However, just before the race begins, Plankton sneaks off to the Krusty Krab and uses a robot as his replacement in the race. As you can imagine, Plankton goes inside the Krusty Krab to steal the Krabby Patty formula, while the group must evade attacks from a snow monster. The episode is pretty eventful and has some epic moments, but you know what we're here for, mistakes. During this scene, where Spongebob says she loves your jelly beans, Patrick, Sandy's boots are white instead of gray, thus making for an awkward mistake. Here's a clip. No, no. Mm -hmm. She loves your jelly beans, Patrick. I'd better go while the going's good. Jelly bean. The episode Best Frenemies is all about a new restaurant popping up in Bikini Bottom. This place makes kelp shakes, and this begins to steal everybody's business, more importantly, Mr. Krabs and Plankton's business, and this results in the duo teaming up to try and get rid of this new place that's stealing their business. Now in the end, they succeed, but let's head back to this scene for a mistake. It's why you clicked on the video after all. While everyone is seen drinking their tasty kelp shakes at the Krusty Krab, the character Incidental 36's eyes are weirdly colored as yellow, when they should be white. Like I said, it's a small mistake, but considering that Incidental 36's eyes have always been white before this, I thought I'd mention it. 
Oh, also, if you look at Incidental 45 during this same shot, she was drawn with three arms and her bra looks to be duplicated. So yeah, this scene is full of mistakes. All right, boy, it's done. You're gonna suck the whole cup down your gullet if you're not careful. Uh, sorry, Mr. Krabs. It's just that this kelp shake tastes so good. Kelp shake? Look around ya, everyone. Enjoying a delicious. It's just kelp shake. When SpongeBob comes to the shocking realization that Squidward not only hates Krabby Patties, but has never even tasted or tried one before, and the episode just went bite, he makes it his number one mission to broaden Squidward's horizons. And though Squidward completely rejects the idea of it, SpongeBob breaks Squidward by the ending of the episode, and he gives in and eats a ton of Krabby Patties. It's so, it's so funny. Now during this scene, where Squidward is starting to slip up on his Krabby Patties, addiction, we see a shot of the grill, which has six delicious patties on it. However, in the next shot, there is somehow now 10 patties? Yeah, here's a clip. I didn't think it was possible, but I guess some people just don't like Krabby Patty. SpongeBob? Yes, Squidward. I need a triple Krabby Supreme on a kelp bun with extra sea pickle and, and burn it to a crisp, okay? Coming right up! In the season four episode, Wishing You Well, Mr. Krabs decides to install a wishing well outside of the Krusty Krab and has SpongeBob wait at the bottom of it to collect people's hard-earned cash. By the end of the first day, Patrick has accidentally gotten himself stuck down there as well, which is hilarious. And even Squidward ends up falling in and has to put up with SpongeBob and Patrick's company for the rest of the night. Poor Squidward. Things get a little claustrophobic down there. And from here, the episode gets pretty entertaining. But let's head back to this scene for a mistake. Right before SpongeBob performs down the well, when walking towards Squidward, SpongeBob has no legs. They're just gone. It's only for a few frames, but they're just gone. What happened to your legs, SpongeBob? Here's a clip. Squidward, aren't you excited? This is really gonna help people. Take a penny and some magic Even though your life is tragic yeah. You can throw all your dreams down the well in the episode Wigstruck, a wig falls out of a rock group's tour bus and finds its way onto SpongeBob's head. This leads to his fellow Bikini Bottom residents making fun of him for his new look. But unfortunately for little SpongeBob, he thinks that their laughter is actually admiration and begins to think that everyone thinks he looks cool. Now if you ask me, I'd say SpongeBob actually does look pretty cool, but we're here for mistakes. So, like, yeah, let's talk about the mistake. It isn't that big of a deal, but in this episode, the art team incorrectly drew the Krusty Krabs kitchen window. Normally, it looks like this, but for some reason during this episode, well, during this one shot, it is much more narrow than it usually is. And boy, does it look weird. I'll admit it's a bit of a nitpick, but yeah. Mr. Krabs is a tough boss, and this is definitely the case in the episode The Krusty Plate, where Mr. Krabs just freaks the heck out, all due to SpongeBob not washing a plate correctly. He even punishes SpongeBob by making him stay over time. Unfortunately for SpongeBob though, he just cannot actually clean the plate. He tries, he does everything he can, he even tries to shoot the plate, but this ends up resulting in him destroying the Krusty Krab by the end of the episode. Now the mistake is subtle, but going back to this scene, where Mr. Krabs is overlooking the Krusty Krab and sees SpongeBob's troubles with the Spotmaster 6000, the road or pathway to the chum bucket is missing, despite it being visible in pretty much every episode prior. Like it's always there as you can see in this clip, but it's just not there during this scene. So definitely a mistake. Here's a clip. I guess I better go see where the lad's up to. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. I 
Let's see what he's done this time. When SpongeBob and Patrick accidentally shave off the Flying Dutchman's beard in the episode The Curse of Bikini Bottom, he turns SpongeBob and Patrick into ghosts until his beard grows back in a thousand years. At first, they have much fun as ghosts, but eventually realize the hardships of living without souls. Now, upon learning that the Dutchman is only upset that he can't go on a date due to the loss of the beard, SpongeBob and Patrick decide to help him out by helping him look good for the date anyways. And from here, the episode actually gets pretty fun. On to the mistake though. During this scene where SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward are in the shed, Squidward has yellow teeth for a few frames. Yeah, pretty weird. Here's a clip. It's all about Squidward! Hide! And last but not least, our next mistake comes from the season 2 episode, Artist Unknown. In this episode, SpongeBob accidentally makes an incredibly well made sculpture and Squidward tries to take credit for it, being the selfish man that he is. Now, during this scene, where Squidward is showing off his artwork, which is actually SpongeBob's, he reveals a piece that he calls Bold and Brash. Iconic. You know what Bold and Brash is. And if you look closely at the art collector's jacket, one of the squares on his jacket loses color. This one's kind of easy to miss, but I mean like look, you can see it now, look at that one square that circled its lost color. I'm going to show a clip with audio, but before I do I just want to say, make sure to subscribe. If you do, me and you will get a kelp shake together. Like from the episode Best Frenemies, it'll be good. Alright, so make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm Cartoon Cory. have an amazing day. Peace. How about this one? I call it bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> Sorry, I must have missed that one.